What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys, today we are checking out the triple cash and RP mode of this week, the adversary mode Tiny Racer. So first of all, if you want to launch it, just go to the menu, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar create it, and then go to adversary mode. On this tab, just scroll down on the list to the letter T, it's a alphabetical list, and then you will find seven Tiny Racers, all of them triple cash and triple RP this week. By the way guys, just a tip, if you are struggling to find other people to play with, so if you can't find a full lobby, just launch the first one, because this is most of the time the one that a lot of people play. Now the way this mode works, you guys can see it, it's a race, the name also says it, Tiny Racers, but it's not a regular race, you guys can see it, you have like a top view, this is also the only view that you can have on this race, and the goal is actually not to finish first, the goal is just to eliminate the other players that you're playing with. So it's kind of a last man standing. Every time you are the last man standing, you will basically get a point. First person to reach a certain amount of points basically wins the round. For example, over here, it was five points. You can see it bottom right. This is also the standard setting, but in the menu, you can also put this on more. Now, a couple of ways that you can actually eliminate your enemies. First of all, you have upgrades that you can pick up on the floor. For example, over here, machine guns, you can use these upgrades to basically kill your enemies. Another way to get eliminated is basically when you fall too much behind on the leader. So you guys can see it, the leader, so the first place has like a yellow circle around him. If you stay out of this circle for 10 seconds, then you also automatically explode. So you have to stay close to the first place. Then also the last way to eliminate someone, just very simple, knock them off the track. This way they will explode and they will also be eliminated. Now the upgrades that you can pick up in these races, I'm just gonna go over them one by one because I think some of them aren't really clear and they definitely need some more explanation. The first one, very simple, just a regular bomb. You pick it up, you drop it behind you. After one or two seconds, it explodes. If you are in the area of the bomb, you also explode. Very surprising. Second one, missiles, also very simple. By the way, guys, if you want to shoot or use these abilities, press L1 on PlayStation. So that's normally the button that you use to aim down sight when you're in a car. Next one, machine guns. The aim is a little bit hard, but it's definitely good and definitely worth picking up because the damage is actually decent and the opponent explodes pretty fast. Then the fourth one on the list, basically two arrows in the shape of a circle. This one was kind of confusing for me, but definitely a very good one. So look at the pink car over here when I use it. It basically stops the purple car as well. And what this does, it basically turns around the control. So gas becomes brake and brake becomes gas. So obviously this can be very annoying and also very good to use. Then the fifth one on the list, a motorcycle symbol. If you pick this one up, you become a Shataro with a line behind it, just like in Deadline. And if someone touches this line, they actually also explode. So also a very good one. The next one on the list is a ramp buggy. This one kind of speaks for itself, I think. You can just throw people off the map. You can turn them around, you can crash them. So also a very good one. Then the last one, and this is definitely the best one, although you don't see it a lot, this upgrade. So when you do, definitely pick it up. You become a Ruiner 2000. And just like in free mode, you have lock on missiles. So you can actually lock on your enemy, lock on your opponent. And this way you can win very easily. Then now the most important part, I think, the payment. So over here, I just want to point out we played six rounds in total because this is very important when it comes to the payment. So I won five rounds and then one other person also won one round. And then I got 15k. So I just want to tell you guys this because the payment really depends on how much rounds you play. For example, over here, in total, I won five rounds again, then the other guy one round, you guys can see it bottom right, and then the pink guy three rounds. So that's a total of nine rounds that we played. Over here, I got 30k, so that's the double of the previous game, while we only played three rounds more. But you also have to keep in mind, of course, if you have short rounds, for example, the six rounds that we played earlier were very short, and then of course you get less. So it depends on how many rounds you played, and also how long they took. By the way, for the people that want to know, also 4.5k RP that we got. Then one more thing that I have to mention is basically you also have an upgrade in the form of a steering wheel. This is basically just a random vehicle that you will get. So if you pick this up, you either have the Ruiner 2000, you have the Ram Puggy, or you have the Shitaro. That's basically it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely a very fun mode. I noticed, though, that a lot of people aren't playing it, so definitely check it out, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my Discord in the description, and peace out, you guys.